Hey there, this is Seth, and I wanted to show you just a really quick uh, trick that I learned about several years ago now that's really been kind of surprisingly helpful to me, just sort of a handy little tool to know about. Um, in, this, in this particular example, I'm just looking at a parcel map uh, through my county's GIS mapping system. Um, there's really no need to understand what that means for the purpose of this video, but a lot of times when we find these maps, these are actually really helpful tools to have, not only for your own due diligence when you're buying a vacant land property like this, but it's also really helpful to have when you're trying to sell this property. So if you're going to buy this property and try to flip it, chances are more than likely a lot of buyers of properties like this are not going to be able to find where they're located because it's, I mean, there's no address, it's just kind of a vacant lot in the middle of nowhere, and it's really helpful to have this kind of image to show people. but. A lot of times when you try to come over to this thing and try to right click it and save as, I mean, it's just, it's not going to work because it's not te technically like a, a JPEG image file, but you can still work with that. On your keyboard, there is a little key called print screen. Um, on most keyboards, you're going to find it just to the right of your F12 key or just above your insert key uh, or just kitty corner from your uh, backspace key. <laughs> uh, just kind of right up at the top there. And all you got to do is whenever you have the image that you want to save uh, pulled up on your computer, just go ahead and hit that key. And when you click it, nothing's really going to happen on your screen. You're not going to see anything. But what you've just done is you've taken a snapshot of whatever is displayed on your screen. And what you can do with that then is open up just kind of, you know, like a, a basic program like Microsoft Paint or something like that. Um, I'll show you it quick here. Uh, if I open up Microsoft Paint and then I hit Control V, and then after I hit Control V, you'll see I actually just pasted the entire screenshot image right into Microsoft Paint. And what I can do from here is actually use this little thing and, and select the portion that I want to be my actual picture. So you just do it like that and then hit this crop button. And just like that, this is the picture that I can now use to you know, send to my, you know, future buyers or, or post on my listing when I'm trying to, you know, put an ad on Craigslist. I can use this actual image and, you know, help my buyers understand where the property is situated, what the dimensions look like, what it's located right next to. I mean, this is, it's basically like having a little survey, which you would normally have to pay hundreds of dollars for. And you've got it for free right here because you were able to take this screenshot and save it on your computer. So, um, again, this can be applied to pretty much anything. I just happen to be using it for this, you know, particular GIS image at this, you know, for this video tutorial. But, I mean, if you see anything that you want to save as an image and for some reason you can't right-click and save as, all you got to do is hit print screen and, you know, save it and crop it and then go ahead and save it on your desktop. Um, that's really all you got to do. Um, Hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you're using a Mac, I believe there's there's similar ways you can do it. Um, if, if, if you can't use the print screen button, there's there's different free softwares out there that do a very similar kind of thing where you just take a snapshot and save it on your desktop. So uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, yeah, best of luck.